9 TCM Shop. I'm Robert Osborne. Up next in our look at early silent cinema, we have a film which proves, if ever there was any doubt about it, that innovations in filmmaking in the 20s wasn't the exclusive domain of creative people in Hollywood. European filmmakers were concurrently making big waves of their own. And a prime example is our next film. It's titled Haxam, and Witchcraft Through the Ages, made in Denmark in 1922. It's a project written by, directed by, and starring a man named Benjamin Christensen, and it details the history of witchcraft from the Middle Ages to the present, the present in this case, of course, being the early 1920s. What's unique about this film is its unusual construction. It's a dramatization, but told in a documentary style and in seven separate chapters. It starts with a lecture of sorts describing paranoia of witches and black magic that gripped Europe during medieval times. Then as the film progresses, it unfolds as a docudrama with special effects. In some instances, still photographs are used. Sometimes model towns have been built as backdrops. There's even a stop motion animation sequence. Now the director, Benjamin Christensen, also uses light and shadows in ways which were very innovative for a film in 1922. This movie in fact contains so many breakthrough techniques that many important filmmakers, such as Louis Bunuel and Val Luton, said that this film inspired their work. I also have to say that a great deal of the content in the movie seems very tame by today's standards, but the way the dark deeds are shown in this particular movie were considered very disturbing and very controversial when it was first shown, even causing the film to be banned in many cities. So over here from 1922, Haxon, Witchcraft Through the Ages. 